hungry? I am actually. Yeah, me too. I haven't eaten all day. Just keep looking at him. Just keep looking at the screen. I know we don't know each other that well, but I feel like I've known you a long time. Well, if you did know me, you wouldn't be here right now. What am I looking for? I was married once, you know. Used to sell guns. Can I take your order? Yes. Um, I would love the special. Yeah. Two specials. A bottle of the Malavina, sir. I will be right back. I am so hungry. Yes! Wow! I'm like a freaking genius. <laughs> I'm just amazing. I was like, oh, uh, can I help you? And he was all like, yeah, man. <laughs> that was amazing. Yeah, that was good. After thousands of years of trying, this is the role that is finally going to get me discovered. I can't believe you're getting a big head over that. Auto, baby. Do you think that anyone could do what I just did? I thought you said you got the role because the other guy had a heart attack. That's a total lie. It was a partial heart attack. It's not the same thing. You know, some say that uh, ego is the root of all suffering. You know, reading one book on Buddhism doesn't suddenly make you Salvador Dali. See, that's your problem right there. You're not reading enough. It was the Dalai Lama. Salvador Dali was a rapper. Of course I know that! Look, I have all the CDs over there! I'm just testing to see if you knew. You know what I'm saying, G? <laughs> oh my god, I gotta go. Where? Secret meeting with a Hollywood agent. It's not exactly something I can talk about. Where's that? In my cab. You see, I'm picking him up from the airport. He had no idea I'm coming. It's what we in the industry call a surprise meeting. I am a genius. How's it gonna look a cab driver's gonna try to have a meeting with him? Well, I do have to pay the bill somehow, don't I? I mean, it's not like you have a job ever in your life. I'll, I'll get a job. I've been hearing that for the last 3,000 years. I gotta go. Ooh. Stay out of the refrigerator. Look at all those people sitting in their cars. I know they're looking at me. I'm surprised I'm not causing traffic accidents. I'll be right back. I am just amazing. I'm like De Niro and Brando, wrapped into one sexy package. Where the hell am I going? Damn it, man, where the hell is this airport? My God, I've been looking for hours. Take me to the hospital. Uh, excuse me, I'm off duty. Please, you gotta help me. I don't know where to turn. Well, actually, you go up to the corner and then you make a left. Listen to me, Lolita. This is not my problem. Look, my dad kicked me out and my boyfriend won't answer my calls and I'm only 16. You gotta help me. You're all I've got. Oh, gee. Now I gotta go completely the other way. Thank you so much. All right. Strap yourself in, you juvenile fat ass. Yellow. Hey, Otto. Sashi. How's my big guy? Hey, I thought you said you never wanted to talk to me again. I said that? Actually, what you said was I was a big, dumb, fat ass with no direction in life. Then you said you didn't want to talk to me again. Otto, I say a lot of things I don't mean. How could I say that to you? You're such a sweetheart. You know, I've been doing a lot of soul searching lately. Hey, where are you right now? I can't really do you. I'm at the Dungeon Club. Please stand up and get off the phone, ma'am. Um, listen, Otto, honey, I'm about to be arrested. Do you think you could bail me out of jail? No, 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 no. I, you're just trying to use me. Otto, I love you and I want to be with you. Now get your fat ass over there. All right, but not till I'm finished watching this Chakarama marathon. It's awesome. All right, now get the hell out. No, but you have to go in with me. All right, but that's gonna cost you extra. Oh, good. There's a spot opening up. Just give it a minute. Hey, wait a second. I think I know you, don't I? Well, I did just happen to have a major role on a TV program before. I think you served me coffee once. Come on, move it already! Oh, don't you give me that look! Don't you realize who you're dealing with? One word for me, and Steven Spielberg will have your ass on a platter! You can relax, okay? I'm feeling a little bit better. I, I'm completely relaxed. So, no. uh, do you have a name for your baby yet? Not yet. Have any suggestions? Ass face! I said stop looking at me like that! If you think you're such a tough guy, why don't you just come over here and show me what you're made of? Please stop. Look, I realize you're a chick and everything, but if you want to be a successful driver, you got to be aggressive. I mean, if you don't, people are just going to walk all over you. Yeah. Hello, sir. That's a nice shirt you got on there. 
What are you looking at me like that for? I didn't say anything to you. I swear, it was her. No, it wasn't. Yeah, she's a pathological liar. That's why I'm taking her to the hospital. Sissy. What'd you say to me? Hey, I'm talking to you, you big fat dumbass. Get over here. Hey. Stay away. Get out of here. Away. You. Away. Oh. Away. Get out. I'm gonna kick your ass. Get out. Get out. Come on. You're pissed off of him. He thinks he's such a tough guy. Let him prove it. He's mentally challenged. This will stop you. I'm sorry. Oh, better be. So how'd everything go? Wonderful. I got to the airport. It turns out it was Steve Ovis I was picking up. He's a plumber from Missouri. Other than that, nothing happened. What are you looking at me like that for? I didn't do anything. Huh? All right, fine. I got fired when they found out that beat up plumber retarded. But it was totally not my fault. He provoked me. Well, I'm sure he had it coming. Coming up on the news tonight, the mentally challenged brother of the chief of police is savagely beaten in a road rage incident. What is this? This guy was like crazy. I mean, he was he was hitting him, he was kicking him, he was it was it was nuts. It was... When I find the guy that did this, I don't even want to say. Find out more about the suspect believed to be armed and very dangerous and very flamboyant tonight at 10. Oh my god, this is sad auto. Really? Do you have any idea what happens to people? who beat up the mentally challenged brother of a chief of police. Please don't hurt me! Ah! Not my nipples! Ah! Please don't! Ah! I gotta get out of here! Where are you going? We're going on a little trip, Otto. We're just gonna hide out until this whole thing blows over. We're gonna start packing, but only the bare necessities. Go on, pack! Get the hell out of here! Last one out locks the door! Uh, you know, Otto, I think I left something in the apartment. Would you mind starting the car while I go back and get it? Sure. Great, but don't start it yet. Wait until I get a safe distance from it. No problem. I got my thing. You mind telling me where we're going? Stop asking me such stupid questions. I don't know. Well, let's put our mind to this. Look, we need money. We need to hide out. As far as I see it, that leaves us two possibilities. We could join the circus, or we could become male prostitutes. I say we join the circus. Wait a second. We got to turn around. For what? I promised Sasha we'd bail her out of jail. Otto, you got to be the most desperate man alive. Who else is going to bail her out? How is this your problem, my friend? The woman hates you. She tried to kill you in your sleep. The hell with her. She's got your concern. Oh, how could you be so heartless? How could you be such an idiot? Anytime that woman wants something, bam, you just cave into her like that. Have a little self-respect, man. I don't need self-respect. I just need her. You know what your problem is? You become attracted to a woman, and you lose your brain. You take that back, or I'm jumping out of this car. Oh, what is that brainless? That's it. Oh, get back here. I left the door open. That was brainless. We're still not turning the car around. Damn it. Otto, the police are after me now. You just want me to whip this car around and go knock on their front door. Well, it's not going to happen. Just go to the glove compartment and get me the phone book. I want you to find me a job counselor. Find me the one that's the furthest from here. I'm sorry. We just gave away our last circus position. Damn it. Look, it is my job to find you your ideal job. So don't you worry, uh, Mr. Uh, Nura Langer, is that how you say that? Um, yeah, sure. Oh, that's a very strange name. Where is your family from? Iceland. Really? I have a lot of friends in Iceland. Would it be uh, Veklavik or Kaklavik? Uh, the frozen part. Look, they're, I'm, I'm not really that close with my family. I don't really know any of that stuff. Really? Yeah, yeah my brother and I, we just left home when we were like... I don't know, like 12, 13 years old, and just never look back. <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> oh, don't get me started on my family. Excuse me. She off my face. Uh, now, do you have any recommendations? Well, you're not giving me much to go on here. 
You know, I am a hard worker. I mean, I really am. I mean, you just tell me to do something, God damn it, I just go do it. Pick up that chair. Well, you know, that chair is kind of big. Do you have a smaller one? You know, I think I have just the job for your sensibilities. I don't get what? What? You and I are going to be summer camp counselors. But I thought you didn't like children. I hate children. What? They're gonna let me teach the theater department. Could you not start the car yet? I want to finish watching this. Don't start this car so you can watch that stupid crap. Ah, oh, my brain. I think it came loose when I jumped out of the car. Turn that off. But it's the six days of horror marathon. Oh, great. Six days of stupid horror cliche. That sounds like it's gonna be a lot of fun. It is fun. Come on, Otto, you just went six hours ago. Oh, I gotta go, come on. Otto, I'm getting to this summer camp before sundown. Now there's nothing that you can do that could possibly make me stop. That's it! Would you stop doing that? Don't think every time you jump out of the car you're gonna get your way, mister. I can't go if you're looking at me. I'm not looking at you, you're completely paranoid. No one's looking at you. Didn't go in the woods. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't see a porta potty. Oh, hey, thanks a lot. You made me tinkle on my shoes. Listen to me. All of my friends died, one by one, and you'll be the next one to die. Get away from me, you freak! Get the car. Go, go. You think I'm crazy, but I'm not. Hey, wait a second, I know you. Yeah, you were the lead actor in that soap opera I was in. Special? Two specials? You were the extra. I wasn't an extra. I played the waiter. That's another five. I have an IMDb credit for it. Well, how's it going? Oh, it's going pretty good, actually. But what the hell happened to you? It looks like your career has gone down the toilet. Well, you know, the strike's been hard on all of us. Yeah. I was just up here doing a, a student film, and... It went horribly wrong. Wow. Hey, do you have that $20 that I let you borrow on the set? I could really use it right now. Yes, as a matter of fact, I do. You better uh, get out of the way of the car so I can go get it. Get back here! Here we are, buddy boy. So this is it? Yep, we just followed down the camp trail a couple miles and we're there. A couple miles? Ooh, what's the matter? You can't have a little walk, you big fat baby. Come on. Oh, on our way. Slow down. Oh my God, you're like Superman on crack. Oh, oh, oh my God. Ah, oh, worm. Oh, why did you put the camp so far away from the parking lot? To piss me off. I think we're lost, Otto. We're not gonna see anyone again. We're good for dead. Oh, hey guys. You going to camp? Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm Otto. Uh, you guys got names? Yeah, I'm Monique and this is Sylvia. And if you're thinking about asking me out, please don't because I don't want to hurt your feelings. Me neither. Understood. Okay, bye. Wow, I've never seen someone get rejected so fast before. That was like a record, two at one. Yeah, I got away with the ladies. <laughs> Let's go. Hello. Welcome to Camp Sunsmile, the third happiest place in all the universe. I'm Jerry Griffin, camp director. Hey, isn't it the guy we used to know? Oh, don't be ridiculous. Jerry Gavin never wore a hat. <clears throat> Focus, please. And lest we forget, always smile. A happy camp counselor is an effective camp counselor. 
Now, if you'll allow me to show you around. As you can see, we have plenty of urine-free streams, beautiful scenery, loads of flora and fauna. But you may want to avoid those barrels of toxic waste that were left here from the failed 1956 Charlton Heston facelift. <laughs> now, if you will uh, follow me. And if you look directly behind me at this beautiful gray building, don't let its modest exterior fool you. It is furnished with central heating and air, lots of comfortable beds, and cable TV. Oh, and plenty of food in the icebox. But it is currently being fumigated for scorpions, so you'll be sleeping in these tents all the way up here. Aww. Don't be testy. We have to all be on the same team here. Speaking of which, it's time for us to put on our official team uniform. I want you wearing one at all times. One size fits all. Ladies and gentlemen, one week from today, the children show up here. It is our job to make sure we are ready for them. So, in accordance with California state law, you'll all be required to take a mandatory examination to be administered by our good nurse, Helen. We don't want the little sons of bitches to catch TV now, do we? <laughs> Who here loves children? Raise your hands. You two, come up here. The little one and the big one. Come up here, please. Okay, let's say Otto is the child and Caesar is the counselor. Otto, step on his shoe. Okay, Caesar, now how do you react? Oh, no, 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 no! These are children we're talking about. Be gentle, be understanding. And when massaging a child's scalp, make sure that you use shampoo and conditioner. Cruelty-free products, of course. That's the spirit! Go, go! Have fun and the kids will have fun with you! We're all gonna have such a great summer! <laughs> Let's take this opportunity to get to know each other. As we pass the Sun Smile Sacred Torch, tell us your name, where you're from, and your goals in life. Oh, my name is Dick, and that's what some people say I am. That's it. So, you play the guitar? No, I just like to carry one around. You really are a dick. Move it along. Hi, I'm Giselle. And I really love kids, that's why I'm here. Also, I don't have a job and I don't have a place to live, so if anyone has an apartment... Very nice. Move it along. Hi, I'm Chip. I'm Hanson. <laughs> Who scoffed at me? It was him. Anyway, used to be a professional swimmer. Now I'm looking to broaden my horizons a little bit. <laughs> Ego alert. Hi, I'm Monique, and I came to LA to be an actress, and that's when I met Sylvia. Hi, I'm Sylvia, and I came to LA to be an actress, and that's when I met Monique. Ooh, where can I buy a clone? Pass it along, my dear. Hi, I'm Larry. Larry Winston. Hi, Hi Larry Hi, Winston. Larry. I came out to LA a few years ago to break into the movies, just like you. Days turned into weeks, no jobs. No nothing. Then I found out I was going to have a role in a Tom Cruise film. But then he found out I wasn't into Scientology and I was fired. That was five years ago. Five long years of living in freight cars. I started eating out of trash bins hoping things would turn around. I'm counting the days. No friends. No family. But I'm glad to be here. Keep it moving. 
Thanks, Larry. Well, hi, everybody. I'm Drew. Uh, just to let you know, if you ever need anybody to talk to, I'm here for you. And uh, if you ever need help with anything at all, you know, just don't be afraid to ask. You from around here, Drew? Oh, I don't really like talking about myself too much. Do you like to wear women's clothes? <laughs> yeah, I don't like talking about myself too much. Very good. Sorry. Now, that's that. Well, my fuzzy little puppies, off to your tents. Good night. Off. Okay, knocky. Who might you be? Carrie. I see. I don't have you on the list. Check the latest. And why were you late? I had to shoot someone. I'd like to shoot you. I'm a photographer. It's a bit of a passion of mine. Very good. You know, I think that new girl with the camera is pretty cute. Yeah, you think every girl is cute. That's gonna be your downfall, buddy. Yeah, well... Get your strong, firm musician hands off of me! That's my tent. Yeah, well, well, where am I supposed to sleep? Not my problem. Blah! That cigarette didn't have a filter! Well, I live on the edge. Well, you listen to me. You might have been able to get me out of the tent. But you first try to get Ottawa, he weighs like 300 million pounds! No problem. Where are we gonna sleep, Otto? Where the hell are we gonna sleep? I'm terrified of these worms out here. I once got bit by one when I was three, and that tree just looked at me, and that squirrel took my wallet. Would you just relax? I'm um, building us a tent. Wow, look at that thing, Otto. That's like luxury housing for my Barbie collection. That's supposed to be a tent. Just what the hell are you doing here? I can't spend some time with my sons. Sure you can, but I never told you we were here. You didn't have to. I followed you. You're a stalker! I just figured we could spend some time together. So, let me guess what that means. Your latest wife kicked you out. Yeah, and she changed the locks. I got some good news. I found us a tent. Yeah? Where'd you get us a tent, Dad? There's some guy at the mental institution. Mental institution? Yeah, there's a big mental institution down the way. Did you see it? Oh, mental institution! Come on, let's get this tent put together. Here we go. Nice and comfortable. You know, Dad, I just don't think this is a tent. I can't even breathe in here. Hey, thanks for kicking me out of your tent, you jackass. It was really nice of you. What did you just say to me? It was him. Let's just go, Dick. Whatever. Ow! Is that the boy that's been picking on you? Yeah. Well, I'll have to have a talk with him. I just met you and everything, but I think I might be falling for you. What is it? Don't you like me? Yeah, I do. It's just... It's my breath, isn't it? No, it's me. I have this problem and I don't think you want to get involved with me. You're gay. I wish it was that simple. I just can't perform. Yes, you can. You're a great musician. No, I don't mean with my guitar. Oh. You're gay. No. I mean, I try to get it to go straight, and it goes flop. You know, and I try to talk to my death metal band about this. Do you think they understood? I ended up having to move away just so they'd stop making fun of me. That's terrible. Yeah. And sometimes I think that's why I'm such a jerk, you know? Like I'm missing something inside and I'm trying to compensate. It's so nice to have a guy I can finally just talk to. 
Isn't that that carry girl over there? She looks pretty lonely. I'm gonna go talk to her. Be careful. I heard she had the penis. What? Just the rumor I heard it from some of the guys. But who knows, maybe you're into that kind of thing. You're just trying to keep me from going over there. Because you know we're gonna fall for each other and you'll be left alone. Well, you can't stop me. All right, fine, go make an ass of yourself. I will. Hey. <laughs> I'm Otto. We never officially met. How you doing? It's a nice chips. What are those? Potato? Yeah. Nice day, huh? I was thinking maybe uh, we could get together sometime. You know, get a drink, go out to lunch. It's not true. You got a penis, is it? Why don't you just come over here? Otto, I'll buy you old pal. <laughs> Call me. Doing it was going so well. Going so well, she didn't even say anything to you. Well, look at her. She's just shy. She doesn't talk to anybody. Hey, Carrie. Hey, Drew. Yeah, I'm all right. How you doing? Oh, you look good. You look like you're working out. Hey, thank you. Yeah. yeah hey, anyone seen Sylvia? Yeah, Dick's not here either. I got dibs on his tent. Everyone, let's form a search party. Sylvia! Hey, hey. Dick! Where are you? Come on, man. We've been looking for hours. Maybe they just left. We just checked the parking lot. Their cars aren't here. Those naughty little monkeys. You did try calling her, right? Yeah, but I can't get a signal up here anywhere. I know. I can't either. This is ridiculous. We couldn't even call the police if we wanted to. But there's no reason we would have to. Well, if they left, I'm not staying either. Let's not be like that, people. Come on. Everyone who stays gets an extra dollar. Hey. Now let's head back to the camp. We have positions to hand out. Come on. <laughs> Athletics. Who wants to head that department? I'll take it. Good. Sign up with Nurse Helen. Next, arts and crafts. I could do that. Very good. Fill out this form. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Next, theater. I'll, I'll do, do it. it. Hey. This is my forte, son. Back down. Oh, really? You think you could outact Caesar Denovio? Don't think so. I know so. Ooh. Competition time, ladies and gentlemen. Here are the rules. Two rounds, two monologues. Whoever's determined the winner, We'll head the department. We start with you, Larry. Down south. Act three, scene five. You think just because I'm black that gives you the right to judge me? I earned the right to be where I am. I dealt with prejudice all my life. In school, at work. So I'm certainly not gonna take it from you, mama. Denzel Washington, look out, know what I mean? <laughs> Caesar, Hamlet, page 50, in the book. But I don't have my glasses on, I can't really think. Just do it. All right. Toby or not Toby, that is the question. Who the hell is Toby? Anyway, whether tis nobler for a mime to suffer the bling bling of outrageous fortune to dine on sheep no more. And by sheep, shall we say the end of heartache for a thousand natural rocks? Try that one on for size, Junior. Larry, 
Page 125. Vanity Falls. But this is for a woman. Don't give me any lip buster. You're an actor. Act! All right. I think Steve has been cheating on me. When I went to the ladies room to powder my nose, I looked out and I saw him flirting with some floozy waitress. Why would he do that to me? Aren't I enough for him? I understand. When I have my period, I can be a little unbearable. Why must men be so careless with the women that they love? <laughs> top that. Jackass. I will top that. Caesar, page 205. Soldiers lament. All right, fuck yeah. My name is Billy Bob, and I'll be your drill instructor. When I look at all you weaklings, out there, it makes me sick. I wake up three in the morning. I run 500 million miles. Uh, I mean 15 miles. And I'm made of solid ass. I mean breath. But I... Jump, I, jump, I, jump, I, jump, 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 Looks like Larry is our winner. <laughs> Wait a second, ladies and gentlemen. Larry has been diagnosed with hepatitis C. Sorry, Larry, you won't be able to stay. But... But it's not even contagious! Camp rules. Get the fuck out of here! Have a good life now, you hear? That makes Caesar our new champion! <laughs> ha! In your face, Larry! So sorry, Larry. So, here's what I'm thinking. Uh -huh. We should do a huge production here with the kids. Oh! <laughs> Maybe Miss Bygone or something like that. Oh. And I can play all the parts. We can invite Hollywood agents down here <laughs> and put this place on the freaking map! Uh, then, what are the kids going to do if you play all the parts? What do you think I care? Oh! Oh! They could run the pyrotechnic! Kids! Running the explosives. That could make for quite the interesting production. Caesar, your tent seems to be sneezing. Nah, that's just my dad in there. He's staying with me for a few days. Pleased to meet you. I didn't approve of him being here. Well, I just came up to see my boys for a couple of days. I can do that, can I? You could. But we'd have to make use of you then. <gasps> You're our new cook! <laughs> Breakfast is served at 7 a.m. sharp. <laughs> ah! Bye-bye. <laughs> See you then. You look like a doofus in that hat. Yes. Yes, sir. That boss of yours has got some pretty nice rings, doesn't he? Yeah, so? People with nice rings got money. I bet this whole joint's teaming with moolah. Just what are you getting at, Father? Hey, as long as we're up here, we might as well make a profit, right? No law, no police. You'd be stupid not to take advantage of a situation like this. Yeah, you know what Buddha says. Yeah, Buddha spent half his life as a pickpocket. It's a little known historical fact. Seriously? Yeah, right on the internet. So here's what we do. You two keep the campers distracted. I'll see what they got hidden in their tents. We split it three ways. Just what kind of people do you think we are, Dad? Hey, you're the one that complains we never do anything as a family. I don't have to sit here and listen to this. That's right. And I'm with Otto, completely, 100%. To me. Split this thing 50 50 and I'm in. Deal. A smile. What is that for exactly? It's a secret. Yeah, thanks for nothing, wackadoo. Is that supposed to be the mountain? No, it's more like what we call in the art world, abstract. Oh, so you're an artist. I was the best in my class. Really? Art school? No, more like free school. But the teachers used to say, this Otto, he's going to be a great artist. And his art hasn't changed since then. Dad! I'm not lying. Can we talk someplace else? Yeah, well, I have my tent over there. Cool, let's do it. Thanks a lot, Dad. You ruined my inspiration. <laughs> Don't worry about that, okay? I mean, at least you have a dad to put you down. <laughs> what happened to your dad? Oh, um, my mom said he joined the A-team. Hey, do you want to play checkers? Come on. Okay, what color do you want to play? They're all black. Yeah, there are no red. 
Why not? Red's the color of the devil. I guess I'll be black. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be so fun. <laughs> hey, uh, you're kind of different, aren't you? What do you mean I'm different? Oh, it's not to be ashamed of. Uh, you're different. I'm different. It's, it's, it's cool. What are you doing? I just <sighs> thought maybe we could hold hands. I'm sorry, Otto. I can't let you. Don't you like me? No, it's my religion, Otto. So you can't hold hands? <laughs> not before marriage. <laughs> I guess no premarital sex then. Actually, we don't believe in any sex at all. If you want to be with me, you have to understand that. All right, that's cool. It's good. All right, let's shake on it. <laughs> no shaking hands either. Why don't girls like me? I mean, I'm a nice guy. Because girls are immature. They go after the jerks. I tried being a jerk once. I got kicked in the face. You don't need the girl, Aldo. You need a woman. Like who? Someone who's going to car for you. Someone who understands you. I'm sure you don't have to look so hard. Nurse Helen, I need you to go into town. You have to make another delivery for me. I'm also expecting a package from Joe Estevez. Can't you do anything yourself? I can't. <laughs> That's why I have you. Ah, she's a keeper, that one. <laughs> there she is, son. You keep her distracted, I'll grab her booty. Don't give me any of those smart-ass one-liners. I hit the perfect one, too. All right, I'm going in. Gotcha, right. Hello, Mindy. You see, I was wondering if I could have a word with you. You know, preferably at an eye shot from the tent. Dominique, is it my understanding that you happen to be a fellow thespian? No, I like guys all the way. Right. Well, anyway, as you might already know, because of my spectacular audition, I am going to be heading the theater department. I was thinking that maybe this is something that you and I can work together on. But before we do, there's uh, just a few questions I want to ask you. Why is it that you want to be an actress? I like to look pretty. Right, so do I. And recognition. I like when people say nice things about me. Right, yes. And uh, money. I want to get paid lots of money. I like it when guys look at me and admire me. Yeah. I think that's like the best feeling you can have as an actress, you know? And I, I want to be looked at as better than everyone else because I think deep down I am. Right, yes. Yeah, I feel so on the spot right now. You're doing great. You're doing phenomenal. So what kind of part are you thinking of me for? Well, the play is Miss Saigon. You want me to play Miss Saigon? Don't be crazy, I'm playing Miss Saigon. I was thinking of you as maybe one of the military officers. Are you good with machine guns? What? Anyway, I've got to go. I'll see you later. What do you got? Two lipsticks and a curling iron. What the hell am I going to do with a curling iron? Hey. Gary, right? Yeah. Chip Dow. One and only. So what do you got there? Oh, nothing. No, seriously, what, what do you got? I want to know. You know, why don't you come down from there? Let's have a talk. All right. So what brought you out here to this camp? Mm -hmm. Needed a change in my life, you know? I'm tired of the whole professional swimmer thing. I decided it was time to give something back, you know? Help the kids. Professional swimmer, huh? Uh-huh. So you swam in the Olympics? It's possible. It's possible. Is it? Because I heard uh, you were a lifeguard. Or at least uh, you were before you got fired. According to who? According to me. <laughs> Look, I don't know who you've been talking to, but uh, it's bullshit. You know, I, I quit that job. I wasn't fired. Right. Uh, after you were saved by the guy you were trying to save? It wasn't my fault. Whose fault was it? Jack Daniels. See you around.
you smiling like an idiot for anyway? I think I'm in love. Oh great, here we go again. No, oh, who's the unlucky lady? Nurse Helen. Nurse Helen, you just met her. Well, when you find the love of your life, you'll know it too. Yeah, you know, Dad thought he met his true love. Six times. Well, this is different. Really, so you just said a few words back and forth and then suddenly stars appeared in your eyes and she said to you, oh, Otto, I've never met someone so fat before. Let's get out of here. You're so not a romantic. I thought, you know, uh, Stacy was your true love. No. That's right, that it was Sashi, her older sister, after you bailed her out of jail five times. It's desperation that makes you do stupid things. Right back at you, bro. What are you doing watching this stupid crap for, anyway? All these horror movies are great. The whole horror genre is a joke, my friend. It's the same thing every single time. You got some hot chick. You're gonna go wash yourself, take off her clothes for no other reason than it helps sell the film. What? The whole thing's a joke. And then some killer comes up behind her, out of nowhere, and, and hacks her or chokes her or whatever nonsense. She spits blood and blah. I've seen better acting on pornos. Wow, that's entertainment. A bunch of people spitting blood with boobs like it out is such quality entertainment. Now, you know what a good horror film was? House 2, the second story. Now, that film didn't need blood to be scary. That cat or puppy gave me nightmares for weeks. Well, bad things happen to people in real life. I mean, psychos kill people every day. Yeah, mainly in bad horror films. Hey, look at that little ditty over there. Look at that camera. She's got some money. I'll tell you what, you keep her distracted, I'll go through that pretty little purse of hers. just ruined my picture. Actually, I think I made it better. But listen, uh, I was wondering if I could have a word with you about something. Hey, listen to me. Uh, I was wondering if you were good with headshots. You see, I'm a, a kind of recognized actor in the LA area, and I was trying to get myself some new headshots. You see the last guy I hired, he made my nose look huge. I swear that thing looked like a huge melon. Remind me to hire that photographer again, I'm gonna freaking kill him. Anyway, I was wondering if maybe you and I can uh, work on a deal. I think my prices are a little too high for- Hey, where are you going? There's nothing over there. <laughs> Don't even look there. Why can't you and I just, you know, sit down and shoot the shit with each other? Pardon my language, it's such a potty mouth. So anyway, you've been a uh, camp counselor long? No. So what's the attraction of sleepaway camp then? I used to go to sleepaway camp when I was a kid. Oh really? Mm -hmm. Good times? No, actually they were horrible. They used to torment me. All of them. Why? Why should I tell you anyway? Because I care about you. I'm a very caring human being. All right. Actually, I used to have really hairy legs when I was growing up. I mean really hairy, but it's not my fault. I'm Italian. And I hated going to summer camp because they used to make you wear shorts. Why didn't you, you know, shave your legs like I did? I couldn't, no, because my mom, she was this old world Italian woman who used to like have these ideas that a woman couldn't shave her legs until she was like 20. So I'd go to camp and all the kids, they would torment me, even the counselors, and they used to call me like Sasquatch girl. And one day they came into my bunk and they came in with super sticky tape and they put it on my legs and uh, they yanked it and I woke up screaming. That's horrible. Yeah, it was. And I decided one day I'd get them all back. All of them. You know, the same thing happened to me when I was in junior high school. Anyway, I've gotta go. So, I guess I'll be seeing you around at some point. That's my girl. 200 smackers, kiddo. Whatever this girl's into, it's good. Just wanted to remind you, breakfast is at seven prompt. Good nighty.
hell is that? Rock soup. Yeah, I'm not eating this. Hey, they don't give me much to work with. I'll make it better for you. Bam! Hit the road. Next. Hey, Mr. Novio. Hey, how you doing? All right. All right. Hey, go. Enjoy. Thanks. So where's everybody, anyhow? I don't know. Next. There you go, hot stuff. Why'd you go through my purse? I don't know what you're talking about. I'll take my $200 back before I... How do you know my name? My own kids don't even know my name. I'm psychic, Fred. I know everything, and I know why you're here. <laughs> yeah, don't shit the shit, man. It's funny, is that why Camille, you know, she kicked you out and she changed the locks to $200 now? Listen, you don't want to get me mad, okay? Because you don't want to meet me in the middle of the night. Get what I'm saying? Thanks, sweetheart. I can't believe you let her take her money like that! I'm telling you, there's something crazy about that girl. Well, that's it. From now on, I run this operation. She's small time. We gotta get the guy that runs the operation, the big cheese. He's got all the money. Caesar, I need you to hurt me. Why? I need to see Nurse Helen. Hurt me. Do something. All right. Ow! Thanks. You want to your face, did he? Yeah, he's always giving me crap. Just doesn't appreciate me. I know the feeling, boyo. Jerry. He's always having me do the little things he doesn't want to be bothered with. Treating me as though I'm a servant or something. Are you and him, uh, you know? Had your tongue for saying such a thing? He found me on the streets of Ireland during the war. He took me in. He gave me a home. He's more like my doll. So, you don't have anybody special in your life? It's like no one understands me. I do. A little water and some soap A little time to rest, I hope To wash the worries of the day What are you going out of life? To have a nice home in the mountains. Star the scenery all day long. Never have to worry about or work or rent or anything. Yeah, I like not working too. I have no idea how handsome you look right now, Otto. Kiss me, Otto. Kiss me. Off your clothes and watch your toes. You remember that summer you're supposed to watch us? How could I forget? It was a wonderful summer, wasn't it? It was horrible. You let us stay with Aunt Marty and then you went to Vegas. You have no idea what that did to me. What are you gonna bring that up now? Because I want you to know that I see through this little, I wanna spend time with my boys. Bull, crap, act. You're not Mike Brady. You're more like Sissy Spacek. I hate you. I see right through you. And the only reason you're up here is because you know that I could help you. You never cared for me. Never cared about you. What about those kids in first grade who were picking on you? I punch their lights out for you. I always looked after you, kiddo. Yeah, well, what have you done for me lately? Why, this is Dick. <gasps> and he's missing his guitar. We have to call the police. We have to get to the bottom of this. You two find Nurse Helen. Tell her she's in charge now. <laughs> and if there's anything I can do to help, don't hesitate to ask. <laughs> Good luck, you two. Hey, look at these babies. You stole those? It's a little something I picked up in the joint. Come on, let's go find that nurse. You know, as much as I enjoy spending this time with you up here, you seem to be neglecting something rather important. What's that? Where's my fucking money? We talked about 50-50, hand it over. I thought we split it three ways. Three ways, that's right, 50-50. All right, 60 40. All right, excellent. You know, it's too bad about all these murders. It's gonna make us look suspicious. <laughs> I know what you're talking about. Wait, what do you mean all these murders going up here? All these murders? Oh my god, those are dead bodies! Oh my god, that's a serial killer in this! I gotta find that Helen! There's Helen! Nurse Helen! I gotta find Nurse Helen! Have you seen Nurse Helen? No. Have you seen Nurse Helen? No. I have to find her! That's a serial killer loose on the camp! Ah! Is it me? Is this guy like totally gay? Oh, so that's gay in your eyes? The, 
the lisping and all that? Yeah. <laughs> you know, you shouldn't make generalizations like that. Not every gay guy acts that way. That's even to presume that he is gay. I think it's pretty obvious, man. <laughs> do I act that way? Oh, dude. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I, I never want to offend you like that. Yeah, it's all right. I mean, we got to work together. No problem. It's all right. Yeah. <laughs> That barrel, Chip! You'll kill yourself! Chip! Chip! <laughs> what a waste! <laughs> oh, why did I bother dyeing my hair today? <laughs> Nurse Helen, treat that young man! I've gotta go wash this shit out of my hair! Helen! Anybody! Oh my god! What the hell are you doing wearing those stupid bandages? I was just with Nurse Helen, and we kissed, and it was like the best day of my life. Bob. Otto, listen to me! There is a serial killer loose on the campgrounds. We gotta get out of here. Oh, if you should have seen how she was looking at me, Caesar. Otto, listen to me! Stop thinking with your penis! There is a serial killer loose on the campgrounds! Me. Someone's in trouble! Take those stupid bandages off! Caesar! Who did this to you? No, not there! Oh, God, oh. Oh. I'm so sorry, man! No, just, uh, it's all right, you know, just help me up. All right. No, not oh. 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 God. I'm so sorry, man, I had no idea your arm was so loosely attached. Oh, it's cool. It's cool. Just, uh, just help me out, man. Just go get help. Who did this to you? She went, she went that way, man. You don't have any fingers left. I couldn't tell what direction you were pointing at. Oh. Uh, what are we gonna do? We can go back for Dad or we can save ourselves. Let's save ourselves. Agreed. Oh, man. You know, this is all your fault. You're the one who found us that job counselor. You're horrible. <laughs> who the hell put their tent out here? It's the girl with the camera. She owes me 200 bucks. Well, I stole it from her to begin with, but I'm getting it back. How could you say something like that? Otto told me. Well, he's the one who said that we should. Did not. It's true. And once when he was 15, he took your car for a joyride. I, you swore you'd never tell. Yeah, that, stop it. All right, break it up. Break it up, you guys. Tell me what you found. That girl, Carrie? She was the one who was doing this. Oh, she's the one with the gun in her purse. Gun in her purse? Were you planning on telling me this at any point? No, it didn't seem important at the time. I can see your point. Anyway, she's got this scrapbook in there. Like out of all the horrible horror movies. And the newspapers and shit, they've been finding gutted bodies on campsites across the universe with their organs and limbs removed. Every person that's been killed, she's got that picture in there. She was the one who did this. But no one worry, Peter Genovia was on the scene. I'm gonna get my car, I'm gonna be right back, and I am going to save your asses. I don't seem to have a car anymore. But I found my license plate. It's been scrapped for parts. We may be stuck here. There's a cop over there. We gotta go talk to him. Yeah, you do that. I, uh, I gotta take it with us. Officer! Officer! You have to help us! What seems to be the problem, young man? There's a serial killer loose on the summer camp! Just as I suspected. I knew there was something strange going on out here. You boys found me just in time. I'll call this in. It's gonna be all right. This is Officer Reginald Stokes calling for backup. 
Yes, I'm interested in long distance service. What did we tell you about leaving the institution? The lady said I could go for a walk. <laughs> Stop wearing those police clothes, okay? <laughs> they make me feel like a man. Great, he was a mental patient. Now what are we gonna do? Where's Dad? Not again. Do you think we should look for him? Yeah, I guess so. Otherwise, he's just gonna make us feel guilty. Was my lucky day or what? Discount lumber. He'll give you a great deal. You tell him Fred sent you. Well, maybe you shouldn't, because I still owe him money. Plus, I married his daughter. Long story. Why are you raising the hatchet and aiming it toward my head? Dad! Hey! Isn't that where Drew was? Looks like somebody moved him. Well, why would someone do that? Help me! Did you hear that? Yeah, that sounds like Dad. And sounds like he's in trouble. Let's get the hell out of here! No, no, we can't leave him. No matter how he treats us, he's still our dad. We gotta help him. If that was us over there, getting tortured or mutilated, do you think he would do anything to stop us? Yes, I do. Come on, Otto, don't be so naive. He doesn't care about you, he doesn't care about me, and I'm sure as hell not gonna risk my life over him. Remember that Christmas? You got just what you wanted? Barbie's Fashion Playhouse? I thought mom number two got that for me. No, it was dad. I was with him when he bought it at the store. And even though he said he didn't want his son playing with dolls, he bought it anyway. He knew how much he wanted it. You mean that he actually cared about me? That's right. All these years, Otto, I always thought he was ashamed of me. Oh my god, that changes my whole perspective on life. Ah! Oh, I don't know what to say. Hands in the air where I can see. Now turn around real slowly. You're gonna tell me what's going on around here. Are you a real cop? Of course I am. What kind of stupid question is that? Well, the other guy... Trash! Yeah, officer! There, there's this crazy woman out there. She's a lunatic. She's been killing camp counselors because she had hairy legs when she was growing up. The only lunatic I see around here is you. Now get on the crown, both of you. Get the helmet, officer. They took my dad. Shut up. Not another word. Now I'm going to take you in. And I'm going to put you under the lights. And I'm going to get some real answers from you. Catch my drift hot shots. This is Officer Brown calling for backup. How do you guys keep getting away from us? Hey, fellas, what took you so long? <laughs> Can I ride in the front seat this time? Hey, we're really sorry, guys. They did a presentation at Copland this weekend, so. Are there any parts still available? <laughs> Come on. There's a trail of blood over here. You know, if we follow that, that might lead us to Dad. Come on, let's go. Please help me. He's in there. Please. All right, so how do you want to do this? Well, let's both go in together. No, that sounds way too dangerous, but I got a better idea. How about you go inside, and I'll go stand guard in those bushes? Right. Good idea. I'll see you in a few. Hey. No, All right, no, no. Fine, we'll go in together. Yeah. Help me already. What are you doing to me? Just be quiet while I check your blood. When can I expect those test results, Nurse Helen? Soon enough. I'll be waiting. <laughs> oh, hi, Caesar. What are you doing? Just cleaning up the mess we made. What the hell kind of summer camp is this? <laughs> this isn't a summer camp. There aren't any kids coming. Didn't you do your research? This is just a front for what Nurse Helen and I really do. And what's that? We sell vital organs on the international black market. But only the healthy ones, none of that Canadian crap. <laughs> Boys, get me out of here. Do you know what a good set of intestines sells for these days? <laughs> my, my. One more year of this and I can finally afford that apartment in Manhattan. You won't get away with this. Actually, I have gotten away with it for years. The key is to eliminate those people nobody would ask about. That's where Martin Sheen's brother comes in handy. Son of a bitch. 
He would have been here this evening, but he got tied up at that gardening seminar in Berkeley. <laughs> How could you do that? <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh, yes. I'm psychotic. I also play a mean tuba, and my pumpkin cookies are to die for. <laughs> Where's Helen? You were the one killing all those people? I know this must be hard for you to understand. Don't be mad at me. Chitty me. <laughs> there she goes, blaming me again. Playing all innocent. Meanwhile, she happily splits the money with me. <laughs> when I found her, she was a 14-year-old assassin for ire. <laughs> and to think, I felt sorry for you. And I thought you cared for me. You just turned out to be a psycho, like all my other girlfriends. Otto, don't be that way. I do car for you. That's why Jay is going to be the one to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> Come on over here, boys. No, I don't think so. Get close, then I'll cut you. The I'm grabbing my father's the, And then, for some strange reason, I'm going to start to get tired, see? And I think I'm going to lie down and take a nap. See? Caesar, what bottle did you break? I don't know. I think it's that ether. Ether? All those bottles, that's what you had to grab? If we get out of here alive, I'm going to have words with you. Can you believe we got away from them? Yeah, just when I thought I was asleep, I was like, BAM! Totally punch him out in the face. You didn't see that one coming, did that? <laughs> High five! Yeah. I'm so proud of you two. About time I took you out for those ice cream sundaes I promised you 20 years ago. Yay! I love you, Dad. I love you too, Otto. Wait a second, what about me? I don't know yet. Ah, come on, you big knucklehead, of course I do. <laughs> hey, let's say we turn on some tunes and boogie down like a family. Yes! Does your daddy like my funk? Does he know I rock your junk? Is this camera rolling? Has your mama heard my All right, there she is, son. Well, you keep her distracted and I'll grab her booty. And one other thing. We wake up and get us the hell out of here? It's about time you woke up, dumbass. Is that you, Mom? No, it's your father. And thanks to you, we're stuck in here. You know, when they get back, they're gonna kill us. Yeah, well... At least I wasn't captured by a woman. She put an axe in my head. What's your excuse? Oh, please stop fighting. I hate when you two fight like this. All right, we gotta come up with a plan. Otto, see if you can reach in my right front pocket and get my Swiss Army knife. I'm still pretty sedated, but I think I can do it. It's not there. Oh, that's right. I traded it for some beer. Test results are in, ladies and gentlemen. And we find Fred DeNovio in perfect health. <laughs> Your name is Fred? A celebration is in order. Who wants to play a little game? What kind of game? It's called, How Do I Want to Be Killed? Axe, butcher knife, or drill? <laughs> Personally, I prefer the drill, but that's just me. <laughs> Who wants to be first? If I don't hear an answer, I'm going to have to make the decision for you. Alrighty then. Let's start with the chubby one. <laughs> Kill him fast. It's the least you can do for me. Anything for you, my dear. It was good knowing you, Otto. You too, pal. I know I might have said some horrible things about you, like I wish you were lobotomized or dead or worse, but the truth of the matter is, Otto, I needed you in my life because no one else would live with me. Otto, when you get to the other side, tell Walt he still owes me for that mouse idea, bastard. I'll see what I can do, Pop. I'm sorry I took the car. Stop this talking. I'm very sensitive, you know? <laughs> now then, let's try that again. Nurse Helen, did you hear something? Could you go see what or who that might be? <laughs> oh my, look who it is. Is that you, Carrie? My name is not Carrie. 
My name is Detective Carol Locker, and you're under arrest. Come on, Carrie, you can't trust everything you see. There is a perfectly good explanation for all this. Uh, Nurse Helen, tell her. Helen? <laughs> For years, we didn't have any evidence in this case, and then I put surveillance cameras around the campgrounds, and now we have everything we need. This group was the easiest group to kill, I'm telling you. Wow. This feels like the end of a murder she wrote up with the, with the sexier Angela Lansbury. But what was all that about you growing up with Harry Legg? I made up the story so you'd stop bothering me. Angela Lansbury never would have done that. Oh, officer, he'd like to talk to you guys. I understand you've been trying to run from me. I, I... Relax. I know you've gone through enough, so I'm gonna let it go this time. But if you ever touch my brother again, I won't be so forgiving. Yes, sir. See that? He really cares for his brother. Just like you. All right, now you're just being gay. You I want to have a word with. What? What did I do? Does the word theft mean anything to you? So you think Dad's going to jail? Nah, he'll talk his way out of it. Give me the rings and nobody gets hurt. Yeah, he's going to jail, all right. Uh, Officer Walker, uh, do you think he could give us a ride home? My car has kind of been reduced to a license plate. Sure. Hey, you know, uh, now that all this craziness is over and we know the truth about each other, how about going out for that coffee? What do you think? Maybe a drink? Well, thanks for saving my life. All right. Call me. I and I had tickets to see this guy once. I couldn't believe how hot he was in person. I like totally made out with him on stage. Well, you were on a date with Otto. We had an open relationship. Well, open for me at least. Hey guys. What the hell is this? The door was unlocked. I had to lock the door on the way out. I thought I did. Relax, I was house sitting for you. Me and my friend Sue. We're back in prison. Uh, listen, Otto, honey, we're gonna need a place to stay for a while. You mind if we crash here? I'll handle it, Otto. No, 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 no. I'll handle it. Yes, I do mind, Sasha. I just want to be close to you. I don't care. Otto, we need to talk. First, you don't bail me out of jail, and now you're not going to put me up. You keep this up, and I'm not sure I want to be in this relationship. Good, so don't be. All along, I was just pretending what a great girl you were. Well, you're horrible. I can't do it anymore. I'm sorry. Would you stop it, you drama queen? Get out of here. This isn't over, Otto. Can I stay? Sure. Get the hell out of here. And take your aid and care to do it with you. I gotta say, Otto, I'm pretty impressed. You actually stood up for yourself. You were a man for once. Yeah, another thing. Just because I live here doesn't mean you could abuse me. Get out! I'm uh, sorry. I don't know what came over me. You listen to me, pal. If you want to live here for free and be a dumbass, you gotta be willing to take a few beatings. It's just the way it goes. It's not fair. All right, fine, then pay me some rent money. I'll take the beans. Good answer. Speak to me. Is this Caesar? Yeah. The one who sent me an application to be part of New York theater? Yes, but, but, but who am I speaking to? I sent out about 700 million theater applications. Would you be willing to fly out here and be a guest at my house? There'd be no charge for staying here, of course. I would love to. Wonderful. And feel free to bring a friend if you don't wish to travel alone. We have plenty of rooms here. I know just the guy. I'll be in touch shortly. <laughs> Excellent. Hey, Otto! Some really nice man from New York has invited us to stay at his house! <laughs>
more about the suspect believed to be armed and very flamboyant tonight at 10. It's a total lie! Don't listen! Security, 